Good morning and welcome back to Almas Market Mornings, your daily dose of global financial updates. US GDP numbers are out, but markets have not budged with dollar remaining range bound. All eyes will now be on the PCE data tonight and market participants will be keen to take a closer look at the inflation figures. Uh, good morning, JK. How do you think markets are positioned ahead of the PCE? Uh, good morning, uh, Suraj. Uh, yes, uh, I think um, uh, markets have actually been quite uh, docile in the last few days, and uh, uh, but just starting to wake up, actually. Uh, you know, today morning, uh, Bank of Japan seemed to have woken up the uh, traders with their statement, you know, and uh, one of the BOJ members actually said achievement of 2% inflation target is becoming in sight uh, despite uncertainty of economic outlook and needs to consider taking flexible response, including exit from monetary stimulus. That was one of the most uh, clear statements that I have heard recently. And uh, that actually pushed, you know, dollar yen had touched as high as 158.8, and now we are trading below 150. And uh, in fact, yesterday also, uh, one of the members uh, from the government said that Japan stands, to re stands ready to take appropriate action against the excessive exchange rate movement. Uh, uh, that's what uh, the top currency diplomat said uh, from the government. And, uh, you know, uh, then we have a raft of data from Europe that is expected uh, today. German retail sales, inflation from Germany, France and Spain, uh, French GDP. Uh, all these are likely to keep the you know currency traders hoping for more volatility because it's been far too long that we haven't seen much volatility in the currencies. Uh, now, the German GDP being uh, from the largest economy is expected to be uh, you know, down on year on year basis and upon uh, German inflation, I'm so, sorry, uh, German inflation being from the largest economy is expected to be down on year on year basis and up on month on month basis. And this comes just ahead of uh, PCE from US, which also has the same trend that month on month is expected to be higher and uh, the uh, year on year numbers are, uh, uh, you know, expected to be uh, somewhat lower. Uh, both CPI and PPI from US uh, earlier this month have given a narrative that inflation go is going to be stickier than expected and even potentially have a modest uh, re-acceleration. So these uh, will definitely keep mar uh, the markets on their toes. Uh, there has been a rise in implied volatility in the currencies, particularly in the euro, indicating that the market wants to guard itself against higher volatility after tonight's uh, uh, you know, binge of uh, data that we are expecting. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that can emerge today and tomorrow is uh, where is the disinflation dis more edged, whether it is in USA or in Europe, and that will probably guide us as to who will uh, cut rates first. Uh, firmer expectation in this regard will also decide how euro and dollar index will move in the coming days, and uh, market thinks inflation is uh, stickier uh, in USA. Uh, on to yesterday's data, of course, the GDP number, the headline, was uh, uh, you know just 0.1 percent uh, weaker than expected, and the downward uh, moderation was uh, reflected due to a down downgrade in the private uh, inventory uh, investment, which is now estimated to have come down. But the, uh, however, it is still a very healthy number if you look at 3.2 percent versus a flat growth in Europe uh, and minus 0.3 percent in Germany and it's a very a very strong growth uh, confirmed by second estimate and uh, the increase is also down to the consumer spending exports uh, and also local local government spending uh, consumption rose uh, three percent in the fourth quarter and uh, this is com compared to 2.8 percent in the previous month so this is a very robust economy continues uh, in uh, USA. Uh, of course, we had uh, a slightly uh, a negative data from US when the Commerce Department announced uh, the goods trade gap that rose to 90.2 billion versus 87.9 billion. Uh, uh, so th th there was a jump in imports, uh, which accounted uh, for increase in the deficit as well. But uh, the sentiment data, economic sentiment data from Europe, on the other hand, continued to picture uh, give a uh, you know weak picture uh, and it's blamed on uh, high inflation rising borrowing costs and the weak external demand uh, conference uh, sorry confidence has deteriorated among manufacturers service providers retailers and constructors uh,
as well. Uh, pricing front, consumer inflation expectation increased, uh, uh, you know, while uh, the gauge for selling price expectation among manufacturers have fallen. It's a very mixed, uh, mixed to weak data that we have been seeing uh, uh, for the uh, markets, uh, for the euro rather. So uh, it, it still is a very highly, uh, uh, you know, data which is uh, favoring the U.S., uh, strong numbers and, um, uh, you know, inflation also more uh, uh, stickier in uh, U.S. So this means that the yields in the U.S. and the dollar is going to be firmer, at least uh, in the near term, uh, whereas in Europe, you know, there are very, very tentative signs of recovery uh, and inflation would be moderating more um, compared to USA. All this gives a feeling that, you know, the current US, uh, Euro USD rate at 1.0850 is quite perky and uh, uh, even uh, data coming in line with the expectation also could push the euro down below 1.08 and uh, dollar yen is very interesting to see because uh, as i said earlier there has been a very unequivocal statement about the weakness of the currency and also about the monetary policy that is due for a change uh, sooner rather than uh, later all these things will keep the currency market busy today uh, uh, of course, uh, on the Indian rupee side, we also have the GDP data, which I mentioned to you yesterday as well. We have a Q4 uh, uh, 2023 uh, GDP that will be announced today. Then there will be a second estimate of the full year GDP for FY24 that will be announced. All these are likely to be uh, quite uh, uh, market mover uh, as far as uh, at least the stock market in India is concerned, which has undergone some correction in the la last uh, few days. Uh, uh, for the currency, of course, we uh, still depend on RBI to, uh, you know, decide whether they continue to hold their wise like grip on the currency. But uh, uh, speaking of the Indian currency, there has been a 0.25% drop in the uh, forward premium in the last uh, one month. Uh, so we are now at one uh, below one rupee 40 paisa on the uh, premium at one rupee 35 actually uh, compared to one rupee 55 paisa that was drooling in the earlier uh, part of this month earlier part of uh, january rather uh, this is down to uh, you know the yields in the us uh, going up and uh, that really does not give uh, an incentive for the uh, uh, exporters to sell uh, their far forward uh, receivable so that part of uh, supply could be coming down uh, uh, so we we need to really see whether uh, if there is a drop in the inflows uh, usd inr can move up particularly after uh, the us inflation numbers if it comes higher so uh, something to look forward to in the rupee as well uh, once this month end is over uh, a couple of other news is the, the congressional uh, leaders in U.S. actually reached a last-minute deal to avoid a disruptive U.S. government shutdown, which would have happened if they had not done by this uh, weekend. Uh, uh, so that's something. And uh, finally, uh, can't fail to mention uh, the uh, movement in the Bitcoin, uh, you know, which surged for the fifth day. Uh, you know, reflecting a huge flow into the new uh, spot Bitcoin exchange traded products uh, that has driven up uh, the, uh, you know, the asset by nearly 40% in February alone. And that would mark the largest monthly rally since uh, 2020. All in all, uh, expecting a very busy day in terms of economic data and perhaps uh, the market also. Thank you. Thank you, JK. And uh, markets, as you mentioned, have been quite docile in the last few days, uh, but they are starting to wake up. Uh, now, we have got a host of data today, inflation uh, from uh, inflation, retail sales, GDP growth from various European uh, countries. And of course, the US PC number is there in the evening. Mm, broadly, in the theme with inflation is that the inflation numbers are expected higher on a month-on-month -month basis, but on a year-on-year -year basis, they are expected to be lower. Uh, now, the competition of who will cut rates uh, starts uh, and markets will assess where disinflation is more prevalent, whether it is in US or U uh, US or Europe. So that's something uh, that uh, that's a narrative we'll keep an eye out on. Mm -hmm. uh, on the Indian side, we have the GDP data, which will be announced today. And uh, one interesting point to note is that there's a 0.25% drop in forward premiums this month, uh, mainly attributed to uh, the yields in US rising. And as JK mentioned, this might uh, basically hold back some exporters from uh, uh, booking uh, uh, some medium term uh, forwards. That's it from us today. Thanks for listening. Tune in tomorrow for the latest in the financial markets.